Here I am right at the entranceway to Crawford Creek Alluvial Fan Boardwalk, which is just down this, uh, this sandy road a little piece. What is an alluvial fan? Today's the day that we all get to find out. Well, an alluvial fan, according to the sign, is a fan-shaped deposit that's formed where a fast-flowing stream eventually flattens, slows down, then spreads out at the exit into a flatter plain. Slowing of the flow as the stream gradient decreases, coarse-grained solid material carried by the water is dropped. This, in turn, will reduce the capacity of the channel and gradually build up a shallow conical fan. There's a sandy, gravelly kind of road into the area where you can park just at the uh, beginning of the boardwalk at the Crawford Creek Alluvial Fan. I'll put the exact directions to uh, get here on my blog at www.readreadread.com. Look for it there. The boardwalk to the uh, observation site is lined with rich growths of willow. The air is filled with bird song today. It's a nice little hike. It's not even, oh, I don't know, a couple hundred yards probably from the uh, parking area. Those beautiful blue hills in the background there is, in fact, Riding Mountain National Park. And I'm uh, standing on an alluvial fan. This is the last intact alluvial fan along the Manitoba Escarpment. All the others have been plowed up or uh, filled in. Now this fan-shaped site, which we're looking at right now, is actually a filtration system for the water. You hear water running just over there in the distance, and that's Crawford Creek. It is fan-shaped. It's kind of like a little delta. So behind us, just over there in Riding Mountain, at some point a heck of a lot of water came down there uh, really fast and created this alluvial fan. There's a little boardwalk to this viewing area. You can see I'm up on a little platform here, getting the best view possible. Nice little boardwalk to it. Please remember that we are in uh, the edge of a national park. There are wild beasts about that you need to uh, be aware of. You're not always at the top of the food chain out here. In any case, this is a very pretty little site. It's uh, remarkably obscure, um, although it is signed right from highway number five right up to the, uh, to the parking lot where this little hike begins. So it's a very sandy area, as you would suspect, as the water gets filtered through it. Lots of bushes, lots of brush. You can hear the red-winged blackbirds and all the beautiful day sounds of Riding Mountain National Park. Just on the verge of it here, just on the north of the park. <laughs> 